in this course, we're only going to be dealing with antennas that exhibit reciprocity, meaning that the antennas transmit in the same manner as they receive. As a result, the directivity of an antenna in transmit mode can also be used to determine how the antenna receives a signal. For example, if we consider a Yagi Uda antenna in receiving mode, the Yagi Uda antenna only has very thin and short wires. But it will actually collect power over an area with different dimensions than its physical dimensions. And we need to use the antenna's directivity to determine the power that is received. Specifically, we will calculate the effective area of the antenna. The effective area is the area that would intercept or receive the same amount of power from an electromagnetic wave as the antenna receives. So for example, we could rewrite this as P intercepted, the amount of power that is intercepted by the antenna is the power density, S incident, times the effective area of the antenna. For the case of a dipole antenna, S incident is the component of the power density having an electric field parallel to the dipole antenna. So the polarization matters. So if S incident here has a component, say, coming out of the board or screen here, and a component going upwards for the electric field, then only the electric field pointing upward is parallel to the dipole antenna, and that's the only component that will be received. Now, if we assume the effective area is in the shape of a circle, which realistically it wouldn't necessarily be exactly a circle, but if we assume it's in the shape of a circle, then we can compare the radius of this circle, the effective radius, to the physical dimensions of the antenna. And if we compare the dimensions of this circle to the dimensions of the antenna, then we can determine how effectively the antenna receives or transmits power. Let's work through an example. Let's say we're given an electric field expression for a standard center-fed half-wave dipole. In part A here, we're going to find the antenna's directivity. And to help you with this, I've evaluated an interval here for you. 